What's up? I'm here today playing Positive Money by Boom Bust Incorporated. It's a fairly unknown game, so let's get into it. I, I know basically nothing about what's going to happen. I only know that it's about like money and maybe the banking system or where money comes from, but but I have no idea what it's gonna be, so so let's experience this. Okay, what's my what's my name? Stiza. Oh, we got a quote here. It is well enough that the people of the nation do not understand our banking and monetary system for if they did for if they did, I believe there would be a revolution before tomorrow morning by Henry Ford in 1922. Okay, yeah. Maybe this game is gonna start a, a revolution by uh, making people understand what's happening. Let's see. Derpy flurpy werp jerp. <laughs> okay, derpy flurpy jerpy werpy. Okay, good morning, Seeds Styes. Welcome to your new job. I'm your boss. You can call me Boss. As of today, you're working for Boom Bust Incorporated. We are the latest and only bank in town. Hmm. Okay, that's uh, Monopoly, sounds like it. It won't be long before we practically run the local economy. Do you need a tutorial on how all of this works? Yeah, I probably need a tutorial. Businesses open an account with our bank and we lend them credit. It doesn't cost us any work, it's just a number we add to their account. But they have to pay us back with valuable cash. As long as the credit we loan out stays within our clients' bank accounts, we never have to pay any of our debts. This means we can lend out way more money than we have. It's great! Okay, that's, that's uh, interesting. We currently have 1000k in cash and zero outstanding credit or debt. And that's here, this thing. This is how much we have. This is how much credit we have. It's your job to grow those numbers, Rookie. Let's, let me show you how that's done. Take a look at your laptop. Well, I'm playing this on my laptop, but I guess he means this laptop here. Okay. Now I'm kind of inception mode on a computer in a computer. Okay, right now there's a business in the manufacturing sector that is looking for a loan. Click on the sector to see if we can make some money off of them. Hmm. Harry Scrank. He wants to borrow 233k from our bank. Every day the business buys and sells goods from and to the market. Look at Harry's business model. Against current market prices, Harry's Crank is highly profitable. So they, they want to loan 233k and they pay back 350k. Uh, at least if they can pay it, I guess, if they make that much. And this, not sure what this is. They have one building maybe mo uh, and three I don't know, factory, no, one shop and three factories maybe, I don't know. Ah, I have to click on it, okay. Harry Scrank promises to pay back 350k every day for 10 days. Ah, 35k for 10 days, so he pays back every day one tenth of the total. After which they will have repaid everything you lent them plus an interest of 170k. Seems like a good deal, Styes. Why don't you go ahead and lend them some credit? Lend. You have to lend. What? Okay. Congratulations on handing out your first loan. Harry Scrank hasn't received any actual money. We just added a few digits to the bank account he has with us. Let's take a look at our balance sheet to see how this impacts our operation. So. As you can see, we still have 1000k cash, so I guess we didn't give them any actual money. Assets are everything that the bank owns. So we own 1000k of cash. Okay. 
And th these are our liabilities. Our cash reserves, despite loaning quote unquote money to Harry's crank, we still have the same amount. The amount Harry's crank is supposed to pay back without the interest. So, okay. Both added together make up our balance. Ah, okay, so we have 1000 and we loaned out two, three, two, 233,000. So together that's 333. And oh yeah, I guess those are our assets because we loaned that money and then we own them maybe because of that? I don't know. Liabilities are everything we owe to others. So we owe 233 because that's what we loaned. Okay, bank capital is plus 100. The total value of our bank, the higher, the better. Your total liabilities are the sum of all your debts to yourself and others. Okay. So we have a debt to ourselves, maybe of 1000? Because we, uh, whatever, okay, let's see. All right, that's enough for one day. You're damn right. Every time you go home, you can take a look at the end of day report. Let's do that right now. Let's go in. Okay, interest. Well, okay, while you sleep, Harry Scrank is out there working hard for our money because he has to pay us back. Pay us back, Harry. You owe us money. We better pay back. Okay, he pays interest every day for as long as his loan is active. That's, yeah, that's true. He pays 33 every, no, 35 every day it was, right? Cash withdrawal. Okay, people always withdraw cash from our bank. Okay, so that's the cash. People get cash like they want paper money. They take out more and more if they feel our bank isn't trustworthy. Yeah, that makes sense. That is why we must avoid making bad deals, Rookie. Yeah, we have to keep our... Uh, we, we have to keep the, the respect of the people and their trust. All the credit that we created to finance Harry's crank is shown here. So we created credit. That's because we, we typed in the number in their account. In their bank account. Uh, Harry's crank already paid the first installment of their loan. Okay. Any interest we make is added to our bank capital. We can use it later on to throw extravagant parties or buy boats and mansions or maybe do some coke and, 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 and uh, some strippers. Okay. Or we can use it to cover losses. That would be such a waste though. Just make sure we turn a profit every day. I like the mentality. So that's our capital. This number shows your target capital. In four days, I want you to have a total of 450k bank capital. If you don't make it, it's gonna have consequences. It ain't my order, it comes from higher up. Make sure you are always turning money into more money and we will get along just fine, rookie. Okay, it seems like there's some pressure, but uh, yeah, I can handle it, I think. All right, that's enough. Go get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, let's see. So, let's. Okay, so the guy, we created this credit because we lent out some money. And the guy paid off some loans. And that's cash, I guess. We, he, he paid it in cash. People took some cash, so that. Ah, no, that's credit. So he paid. Okay, so. We created some credit and the guy repaid some credit, so that credit is gone from our credit. So that's why we have 200 left. And these are just cash investments. We, we get some from that and we people took some cash. So that's, so we have, oh, this is the change, I guess. Ah, the, yeah, okay, this, this is how much, money we 
we gained. So that's why we have now 104k and we went from 0 to 202k of credit. Derpy, flirpy, werpy, chirper. Good morning. Well, this guy sure talks a lot, but okay. Did you sleep well? I'm sure... I sure did. I sure did, knowing that we made free money overnight. Free money, that's quite a, a contradiction in terminus. Or is it? I don't know. Let's take a look and see how your actions impacted the bank and the world, shall we? Okay. That's interesting. If you take a look at the top right corner, you see we have lent out 202k credit, while we only have 104k cash in the bank. This means we have a leverage ratio of 2 to 1. Keep up the lending styles, credit makes the world go round. Your credit... Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we don't actually need to own what we lend out because we can just type the number in the computer so we that's why we can lend out more than we actually physically owe your credit creating actions impact the world around you let's take a look at your laptop and see what's changed investing in harry's crank has changed the demand and supply on the market goods and services in high demand have their high price increased Wow. High amounts of supply decrease prices. Yeah, that's basic economics. Always keep an eye on the market. A smart banker knows how to use it to their advantage. Hover over the icons to get more info, rookie. Okay, so manufacturing. We have some supply and no demand. And, and I guess this is the total value of the market. And it's, it's going down. And housing is going up. There's supply. There's no supply, but there's some demand. And nobody cares about healthcare or education or farming or construction. All right, rookie. Enough talking. Yeah, you're the one to say that. Okay, time to get to work. As I mentioned before, you have a bank capital target of 450k. Yeah, I remember that. Which is due in four days. Don't disappoint me. Now get to it. There's a expl expl Nurkle, Nurkle, Barry, British Nurkle. Jeanette. Hello, I'm Jeanette and I'm the representative of the manufacturing industry. Our sector is a wonderfully industrious place where we take your raw dreams and stamp them into reality with a ruthless efficiency. I noticed you invested in Harry's Crank, a wise decision. There are many more great opportunities available in our sector every day. It's been nice meeting you. I'll be in touch when you when the need arises. Bye. Okay, let's let's do some actual investing. So we can only invest in manufacturing at the moment. Okay, so ah, uh, no, okay. So this is like th this is like a resource that they use maybe and this is what they output i guess yeah they ah the, yeah they turn blue blue into blue blue so this one turns farming stuff into manufacturing stuff and this one turns housing stuff into manufacturing stuff okay so which one shall we invest in i guess the more we invest the more we get back right so they they want a lot of money but we get a lot back or yeah i guess it depends on the difference right so which one is the most different mm. this one has a hundred this one has a little bit less than a hundred this one has a little bit more than a hundred so I, yeah if we want to make a lot of money i guess we take this one and we and then they have a lot of uh, yeah th there's a lot more output of stuff in manufacturing so there will be more supply that will probably like destroy the market or something but they take farming stuff so there will be more demand in the farming stuff and then the farming will probably rise in value uh, at least that's my 
that's my thoughts right that's logical so yeah let's try it but we're probably destroying like manufacturing or something i don't know let's do it seven days okay yeah so we got a lot of credit that's like everything we owe i guess but as long as they don't take it from the bank it's fine what's this ah that's her stuff yeah mm, okay yeah we need 450 of capital is that liabilities is that this which one needs to be 450 is that this i missed it <laughs> okay whatever let's just see what happens nothing more to do i can play with my rubik's cube maybe nope call some someone okay let's go home So, more peop people are withdrawing more cash. I guess they have less trust in us. Could be, or it's just random. I don't know. And we created some credit. And people repaid some credit, so that's reduced from our credit. And that's that, I guess, goes to our uh, cash, because they pay it in. Right? Or not? I don't know. I don't know. Or no, they, they just pay it in credit, I guess. Okay, well, uh, so how, how do I actually make money? How do I make cash? Just from interest. Okay, uh, what? So is the interest is... Yeah, yeah, okay, so the interest, that's what they, the guys pay back. So that's actually cash. So we lend them some credit. We, we just put some numbers in the computer. And then they pay us back with interest. And that's actually cash, so that goes into our vault of cash. And that's how we make real money. And this is the money that they take from their credit. So they, they should never take more than we actually own in cash. Okay, this is starting to make sense. So we should be a little bit careful, otherwise we run out of cash. Let's go back. <laughs> okay, blarpity flarpity. Chloe says, Hi there, chump. It's me, Chloe. I'm the official representative for the housing sector. I want you to let you know that we are now accepting investments. We got the best deals, I assure you. You'll feel right at home. Ah! It's it's a it's a little joke because they're the housing sector. Okay, let's even if one of our business goes bankrupt, you can still sell their property and make most of your investment back. You always win. Okay, so we actually don't have to worry if people can pay back their loans. That's a good thing to know. Anyways, don't let me keep you from your work. I'm sure you have more important thing important many important things to do, such as investing in a big, beautiful, luxurious housing complex. Yay! Doodles! Hmm. Okay, let, let's pause for a second to see if the recording is going alright. I'll be right back. Okay, everything seems to be right, so let's continue. Okay, we can now invest in the housing sector right ah wait i'm i'm clicking on the obs window that's that's stupid ah, okay now i'm in the real window housing uh so these two are the companies this one wants a lot this one wants a little less and this one pays like the difference is more but we have to look out because we have we already owe this much like four three five k we only have 
116, so maybe we should play a little safe. Ah, look, this is our uh, prediction about farming. Yeah, and we, we created two demand, so it's gonna go up. And apparently the housing is also going up. Well, yeah. Okay, so if housing is going up, the businesses must be doing good, so... So they won't take out too much money. So I guess we can... We can uh, be a little risky and take the bigger one. No, that's this one. The bigger one. Because their market is going good. And yeah, we're kind of destroying the manufacturing sector because... Now they have a lot of supply because we gave them a lot of money. Like out of nowhere. Like people weren't buying manufacturing stuff. They, I mean, they weren't buying more than usual. But we were giving money to that market. So suddenly they have a lot of market and they're creating a lot of stuff. But they don't really have the people to sell it to. So that market is kind of uh, wrecking itself right now. If I'm understanding correctly. So... Yeah, let's let's do the big bet of housing. And this will also bring up the farming, because they require farming stuff. And... Okay, so then the there will be three supply in the market. And that will be a lot, so maybe after that the, the, the market will go down again. But whatever, let's just do it. Whatever, dude. Yeah, let's do it. I guess we could also... We could invest in both, but... Yeah, that's really risky. Yeah, I mean, uh, let's not do that yet. And let's see what's going on with manufacturing. So we're... We're uh, lending to these two guys. They're both paying still. We can't really see, like, how they're doing like how much money they they have themselves but uh, yeah it's a bit risky because manufacturing is it's like six supply and zero demand so it's i uh maybe maybe if this number goes to zero then those two guys uh, can't pay anymore maybe maybe we should keep it above zero well at least we shouldn't invest in more because then the market is really gonna be destroyed okay let's see what this is about it's antonio howdy this is boom busting incorporated right i don't that i don't know what fuck accent that is i did some construction work for harry's crank harry gave me this check and told me that styles could help me out is that you yeah it happens to be me I'd like to cash out the check. The amount is uh, 20,000. How do we proceed? So we own that. We own like five or s almost six times that. Okay, so I have two options here. I can give him the cash or I can offer the guy a bank account. So so we then we only have to put it on credit I mean this for us this is the best option right because we don't have to actually give out all the cash we only have to give out what the guy takes out of the account and if we just give him the cash he might just get put it on another well we're the only bank in town right so he, he's not gonna make a gonna have to make a decision about which bank to put it on anyway so we could just give him a bank account and i mean yeah i trust him i trust the guy so let's offer him a bank account so yeah we do it he thinks it's a good idea it's a lot safer than walking out with twenty thousand in my pocket that's for sure dude we're helping you out thanks partner I'm a somewhat of a big deal in the local construction sector. I'm sure we will meet again. I'm sure, Antonio. Well, that's a, that's a great guy. Let's finish the day. Let's see. Ah, what the fuck, boss? I was just gonna leave, but uh, yeah, you're here. Hey, Styes, I know you convinced that guy to open a bank account and store his 20,000 with us rather than cash it out. Great move, Styes. You're making me proud already. Yep. 
I'm making you proud. I'm 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 a I'm a businessman in 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 heart and kidneys. In our business, we only get rich when we keep our clients' money within the bank. As long as they trust us to keep their money safe, we can create as much imaginary money as we want. Time to get rich, guys. Wow, I might actually go to this business. Man, this sounds really good. Yeah, I was going to go home, so let's do that. So we still get more interest than people withdraw, so we're still increasing our cash, that's good. Ah, l here's, here, this is the capital. So fuck, we have only two days to get this, that's maybe impossible. I mean, that's more than, that's, that's a lot. More than double of what we have. So... So what's actually the capital again? What what plus what? It's not the credit, that's for sure. But it's also not the cash. Hmm. I don't know, I should have paid more attention, I guess. Hey, it's Antonio again. Uh, yeah, I remember you. He represents the construction sector. It's a glorious sector where we build our success stories from the ground up. Hehe. <laughs> you could say we're always on the rise. <laughs> I hereby like to inform you that you too can now be part of our success. Be sure to check out the available construction investment opportunities on a daily basis. You don't want to miss out. Okay. Was nice to meet you. I'll be in touch if there's anything else we need to talk about. Ciao, partner. Ciao, a partner. I think we need to invest in a lot more stuff. Otherwise, we're not going to get our goal. So, boss is asking how we're going. Make sure we hit the the, the, the target. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll be toast to your toast, and you'll be toast too. Yeah. Could be. It's in the realm of possibilities. Remember the key is in supply and demand. Invest in companies where there's a lot of demand and little supply. To separate the wheat from the chaff. That's completely true. We should go more into markets where there's a lot of uh, demand. Because that's where the money is. So we got a new sector. It's construction. So, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's Dull Office United. That sounds super exciting. They need an investment. Let's just do it. Let's let's change our tactics a little bit. I mean, they're going up. Apparently, I don't know why. I mean, there's there's no demand. But okay. Let's just do it. We need money, dude. Okay, so housing is going down. Manufacturing is also going down but let's should do it yeah we just need money we so so let's invest in something this guy is super big maybe this one is better because it it won't destroy the market as much because it's only one more uh, supply this guy is three supply this is four that's that's a stupid deal Let's do this. This is a lot of money. Let's just do this one. We're just trying out some stuff to see what happens. Here, the same. Let's not create too much. We, 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 we just pick two with three. That's a lot. Let's let's do with with only one more supply. Will this be enough? Can we get to to uh, 450? I'm not sure. Maybe we should do another one. Let's just... Let's just do it. Okay, that's our limit. Let's not go overboard. Let's just go home. Ah, we're getting there. 305. We only need 150 more. It's possible. 
it's hard, but it's possible. So we're still getting more interest than people are withdrawing. As long as we're getting more interest, that, then we're getting more. We, 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 we're, uh, our cash is increasing. And the credit, whatever. One million. Whatever, dude. It's okay. Kai. Kai Ora. I don't know what language it is. Is that Hawaiian? I don't know. Kia Kia Ora. Hmm. I'm Kai, spokesperson for the farming sector. We provide society with its most essential resource, food. I'm here to tell you that from now on, you are able to reap the rewards produced by our great sector. Sowing credit in our sector is a guaranteed way to grow big returns. Grow big returns. Please take a look at our fertile investments in opportunities. I'm happy we got to know each other and I'm sure we will build a fruitful relationship. Harara, friend. Is that, uh, is that Indian? No, I have no idea, okay. Bye, dude. Let's check them out. There's only, yeah. <coughs> The boss wants to talk. But I'm, I'm busy on my computer, dude. I, I mean, I gotta make money. What's more important? Your story or my money? That will be also your money, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's just do this one. Let's do it. It's okay. Hmm. Ah, here. If we invest in these two guys, we can maybe give more supply to the housing sector. I mean, the, the healthcare is already going up anyway. So, let's do these two. Manufacturing, ah, it's just a lot of supply. Maybe we should leave them alone for a bit. Um, housing, six supply, three demand. Mm, ah, here, we can have some more demand for manufacturing if we invest in this guy. So, let's do it. Yeah, okay, so what does the boss want to say? He doesn't sound happy. Do you know who our true enemies are? People withdrawing money from their accounts. Those damn people with money, I hate them. Our cash reserves suffer every time they do. Should be illegal in my opinion. The less people trust their bank, the more cash they withdraw. Avoid looking like an incom incompetent pool and make smart deals, guys. You know, maybe there will actually be a time when there will be no cash. Like, they, th there will just be cards and maybe chips implanted in your skin. And they will just make cash redundant. And there will only be credit left for, for normal people. That would be this guy's dream. Okay. Let's... Ah, uh, who's this? Jimbo. Hi, da. My name is Jimbo, risk controller. I'm here just like you. Happy to have a job and provide for the family. But man, dear, there are some shady things going on around here. Did you know our bank has a leverage ratio of 14 to 1? So that's the ratio between credit and cash. That means we go bust if more. We go bust if more than 7.1 of our clients withdraw all their cash at once. So that's pretty risky. What we're doing. Too bad there's nothing we can do about it. We'll have to keep our heads down, or they'll just throw us out and replace us. Times are tough already. I can't afford to lose my income. Good luck, buddy. So yeah, I, I guess this guy uh, is making a good point. We have 14 to 1 of credit to cash so people could take out this much so if only seven percent of people take out all their money or if everyone only took out seven percent of what they have in our in their accounts all our money would be gone so we have to keep our uh, our uh, repute high and our their, the trust of people in us let's go home Did we make it? Let's let's find out. Yes. Okay, so 
We have now 487k bank capital. I'm still not exactly sure how this is ca calculated, but we reached the goal, guys. We did it. We, we did it by investing in more companies and being smart and being business. Uh, being good at business. Minister of Health. Hey there, sweetheart. My name's Amanda. I'm the Minister of Health and represent the healthcare section. I am super happy to inform you that you, yes, you, are now able to make a difference in this world. Wow. We can actually put our money to good use, like making people healthy. You are now able to invest in our sector. And as I always say, an investment in healthcare is an investment in humanity. Couldn't say it, couldn't have said it better. I'll be in touch if I need anything, darling. Bye. So let's let's give those poor sick people some money, so they can fund their <coughs> bizarre flu plan. Hmm. Could it be like giving everyone vaccines for the flu? Yeah, sounds like a good plan. I don't know. Bizarre. What's what's the bizarre? I want to know. Is there like a button to? Read more, get more information. Bizarre flu plan. So, they will create two demand in, what's this again? Construction in VLC player. Uh, that's good. No, they're already going up. So that doesn't really matter, but okay. Uh, let's check out what else is there. So construction, manufacturing is going down, housing is going down. So maybe we need to invest in some things that will bring those up again. Manufacturing is really going down. It's nine supply, only one demand. No construction. They need construction. Let's let's invest in those guys. And oh, this is construction. Okay, housing. They need housing, but that's manufacturing. Mm. I mean, do we have a goal? We don't have a new goal. Okay, that's... that's uh, how are the others? They're going good, so... Okay, let's see what the boss has to say. Maybe we have a new goal. Did I already tell you that you are my favorite banker? Oh, because you are. You reached our target of growing our bank capital to 450k in 4 days. Do you know what that means, Thais? It means you get the privilege of having to make even more profit from the bank. For the bank. Isn't that great? Yes, it is. Your next target is to raise and maintain a bank capital of at least 1.22 million. I will come back in 3 days to evaluate your performance. Good luck, Thais. Do not disappoint me. Wow, that's a lot of money. 1.22 million. But yeah, let's see what we can do. Maybe we should invest a bit more. I mean, the, the manufacturing sector is going down, but it can handle a lot. It has 63k still left before it dies out. Mm. So let's, let's recap on what's really happening. So we're putting money in all these markets. And we're creating supply in other markets because we put money in, in those companies and then they spend it in other markets. So then that grows. But actually the money isn't really there. It's just a number that we typed in. So where's this value really coming from? Is this is this really sustainable? I, I, I'm, I'm predicting that there will be like a kind of a grim ending to this game. But uh, we can only find out by playing. Well, we haven't invested. Let's invest in this bizarre flu plan because we need to save people from the flu. So th we did that. I wonder what happens if we invest in everything. I mean, we need we need like more than a million. What was it? Two million? One one point two million? We need a lot. So we need to invest a lot more. And I mean, our cash is still going up. I guess it will only really go down if a market like go goes bankrupt and then they, they can't pay back and they, they, they take out their loans. But even even if they 
go bankrupt and we get the company so we still get some some cash so i guess there's no reason not to invest in anything right hmm. okay so residents farming is it's not going down it doesn't have an arrow but it has a lot more supply than demand maybe it will go down soon so construction is going up so yeah let's let's invest in this one let's just see what happens after this maybe we get more markets to invest in so yeah we're still getting more cash and we are creating credit and people are repaying credit Wow, the Minister of Education. <coughs> Attention, please. I'm Howard, Minister of Education. I'm here on behalf of the education sector. I've come to teach you a lesson about investing in education. He looks really serious. He looks looks like he's really uh, he's serious about his business. Lesson one. So we're learning here. They're educating us. You are now able to invest in education. Great lesson. Lesson two. Always invest in education. It is our society's future after all. That's completely true. The more we invest in education, the more smart people there will be in the future that will be working and that will be making markets uh, uh, bigger by producing stuff, by being so smart. That will be all for now. Dismissed. So it looks like one of the business you invested in has run into trouble. This happens when their business model is not profitable at which point any incident can push them over the edge. When this happens, their sector representative will come to the bank with some kind of proposal to save the company. This always means they want more money and promise a larger return over a longer period of time. So they want to lend even more to save their company. But I guess that's dangerous. That's like when they, I, I don't know the, the English term, but when they give out, gave out too much hypotheca, is that mortgage? I guess when they gave out too much mortgage mortgages that people couldn't pay back and then the like the whole housing uh, market collapsed so after that they needed to be more careful but the banks got saved anyway by the government so it, it, I mean it didn't matter for them be cautious if the market doesn't change in the futures if the market doesn't change in the business favor they will just blow through all of their extra money and come back asking for even more so that's why we have to pay attention to the markets They'll tell you some sub story about workers losing their jobs and not being able to provide for their families. Don't let your feelings get in the way. Business is business. You're here to make money, not hand out free stuff. Yeah, we're not the government, we're back. The representative will be here any moment now. I trust you will handle this situation with the banks and thus your career's best interest in mind. So the banks and my career's best interest. Yeah, that's true. Good luck. Yeah, I mean, we gotta work in the interest of the bank because that's my my livelihood depends on that. Each time you consider a loan, take a good look at the company's business model and the current market prices. Bad investments will always come back to haunt you, so always be on the lookout for profitable deals. Yeah, good advice. Let's take a small break because I'm hungry. Well, yeah, this will be part one of the Let's Play, I guess. Oh, well, wait, there's Jeanette. Pardon me, can I have a moment of your time? In a display of utmost incompetence, the CEO of Central Ventures fell for a phishing email and compromised the company's bank account. That's not so smart. He has been replaced, but the new CEO needs additional funds to restart the business. A bunch of workers are likely to lose their income if you don't help out. What, what, uh, okay. They need an additional advancement of 180k to, in order to continue operating. They promise to pay back 63. Or, okay, so they want to get more money. After which they will have repaid everything you lent, plus an interest of 170. So this will be your total profit. Well, which we can't really check their, like, their, uh, the market that they're in. So we don't know if this, if this is a good idea or not. But uh, yeah, we'll 
we'll st we still have some mo cash anyway, so... Mm -hmm. She's pleased. Okay. Let's take a break, and I'll see you in the next episode.